Hey everyone, this is Dean with DCA Crypto. Today I got a video for you guys on HBAR and we're gonna take a look at the current price and see the action that's been going on with it recently and uh, where I think it could get in the next bull run, what my price targets are for buying and selling this one in the next bull run. Appreciate if you'd hit that like button for me. Now let's jump into it. All right, HBAR is currently at 4.8 cents. If you look at the last uh, year, it's been on this downward trend uh, since I, the lowest it got was like 3.6, 3.5, 3.6 cents. That was back in uh, December of last year. And then it jumped all the way up to 9 cents. So almost a 3x. And then it's come come back down. We had some tokens released. I think there's a billion tokens or something that were released into the market uh, in the circulation on June 1st. So that that's probably going to start trickling in might dilute this price down a little bit more currently the market caps at 1.5 billion and this is a good price i think to be picking some h bar up uh i want to i'm probably going to wait a little bit longer for this one just because there's some other tokens that i'm trying to get more of in my portfolio before i start adding some h bar but uh, if it gets down too much lower i'm probably going to jump into this one and definitely if it gets under the four cent mark you know, that would be a really good price range, I think, for this one for some good gains in the next bull run. But as you can see in December, it was down to like 3.6 cents. So it's not too far from there. It's only a little over a cent away. So I think it's possible that we see more tokens coming into the circulation and some more selling pressure in this long uh, drug out market that we've had over the past year. And this accumulation phase, I think we're going to probably continue to see some of these alts bleed to Bitcoin and the prices slowly coming, slowly coming back down. So we may see H bar under four cents, and that's just a better opportunity for you guys to buy and pick more up before the next bull run. So just don't get discouraged if that does happen. Uh, I want to take a look at the market cap here. Like I said, it's at 1.5 billion currently. If we go to the max. Look at the market cap of the previous bull run here. It hit over six billion, almost uh, probably six and a half billion in, in the last bull run, almost seven billion. So that's about a four x from its current market cap. So just keep that in mind. Even though the price was uh, like fifty cents, which is a, about a ten x from here, the actual market cap uh, was lower because there was less tokens in circulation. So it's about a four x, really if you look at the market cap. So to get up to the last all time high is only about a 4X from here. I think I think it could possibly do uh, better than that in this next bull run. I think it's probably gonna get between one and $2. A lot of people are thinking two to three to $5 for H bar. That's possible. Uh, I can definitely see it, getting, see it getting up to a dollar in the next bull run. But personally, if you're accumulating in at this price, I would, personally start taking profits at around 50 cents when you're up a 10x and start taking out some heavy profits. Anytime you get more than a 10x on a token, I'd, I'd personally start taking out some, you know, at least 20% of your profits. So you doubled your original investment and then you've got 80% to play with for the rest of the market. Just, just kind of see what it does. And I recommend dollar cost averaging out and taking it out in chunks. So if you got up to like 75 cents, you probably want to take out another chunk and a dollar, a huge chunk, and so on. That's just my personal strategy. Uh, you guys welcome to do whatever you want with yours, but that's that's what I would do if it was me. Uh, if we go to their Twitter here, you know they're getting all these uh, people using the platform. This uh, HBAR Foundation excited to announce Acubits, a world-renowned blockchain and AI development leader, is integrated there into its NFT marketplace solution. There's all kinds of uh, people using HBAR and this uh, Archaic X, I think it's called. We'll go up to the top here. Yeah, this Ar Archaic X uh, Digital Asset Exchange, FCA regulated broker and custodian. They announced uh, that there has, has created a tokenized, tokenized representation of its interest in this flagship multi-billion money market making fund using HBAR. So that's really good news. A lot of these companies are starting to use their technology like they like their uh, 
hash graph technology and we'll take a look at uh, what makes Hedera hash graph so special. It's a no, it's not a blockchain technically. It's a currency and open ledger. The co currency and open ledger both have their strengths and we weaknesses. It's not a secret that Baird's Hashgraph network is open source, but its algorithms are patented. Hedera Hashgraph is the only public ledger based on Hashgraphs using Hedera's Hashgraph network. Developers can make dApps, but they will have to pay transaction fees. The network and Hedera open ledger are impressive. Hashgraph networks don't have scaling issues and mining doesn't waste electricity or hurt the environment. So it's completely scalable. They're also faster and cheaper and more secure than blockchain transactions. So that's why it has a huge potential for this one to do really well. It's kind of a kind of like a technology that they're the only ones that really have. And it is superior to some of the other blockchain technologies out there. So it could could push the price up really well with a lot of these uh, projects adopting HBAR. Just remember guys, when, you, when you're accumulating these tokens in this uh, accumulation phase, you just wanna keep buying these dips. You know, you'll get FUD in the market and stuff and the prices will come down. You may have purchased HBAR at 10 cents or seven cents or six cents or something and now you're like, oh man, I'm down, I'm down. But that, that's the time to just accumulate more if you can. and bring your dollar cost average down. That's how you, you know, win in the bull run is just by keep, you can't, you can't really time the, the bottoms. You can't time the tops, but when you buy, when the markets are dipping really hard and then sell when you're up, that's, that's how you're going to win in this next bull run. So if H bar gets down to like four cents or lower, I'm going to be jumping all in on it. Um, and, and I'll be, I'd be jumping in it on these prices as well if there wasn't a few other ones that I'm really trying to finish accumulating, uh, trying to get some more quant and stuff like that. So uh, I already have a bunch of tokens in my portfolio, but I, I love HBAR. I think it's a great project. I think you can't go wrong by holding it in your next bull, in, into the next bull run. And I think it's going to do really well. Um, I think there's a really good chance it'll be at its last uh, all-time high or at least the uh, market cap. So I think one to two dollars, probably a good a good price target for it, like I said. Let me know in the comments if you have any H bar and how much you're holding if you'd like and how much uh, you think it's gonna get up to in the next bull run. If you think one or two dollars is a realistic price target or if you think it's gonna be lower than that or higher than that. Uh, that's just my my personal thoughts on it where I'm where I'm kind of heading with this one if I do accumulate some. Hopefully I'll be able to before the next bull run. Just we'll have to see how how things go and what the prices are. I've seen some other ones that are just dipping so hard that I bought into them because I'm not. You don't want to be married to one specific token. Just just kind of keep that in mind. And you want to definitely have your portfolio spread out between five to ten tokens, like I've said before, guys. But you can jump into my Telegram. Uh, that's free. I'm happy to help out people in there when I can and answer questions and stuff like that and build up that community. And also I'd appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you get future notifications of my videos. I try to get them out daily for you guys. But that's all I've got for this video, guys. I appreciate it and we will see you on the next one.